Hey guys, it's your girl Leah. Welcome back to Love Locks and Other Stuff. To my longtime subscribers, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for rocking with me. To those who just subscribed um, or are just watching for the first time, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like button and hit the little bell so you know when I post a new video. So I know I've been going for, for a long time. Um, and excuse me if I'm looking the other way because I'm looking at the camera at the same time I'm looking at you guys. So I don't want you guys to think I'm not looking at you, but um, I am, but I'm doing both. So anyway, I want to say thank you. Welcome back. Um, I wanted to give you guys an update on my hair and my nails um, and my makeup. So I've been practicing my makeup. First and foremost, we're going to talk about the makeup. So I've been practicing my makeup, practicing doing different looks, stuff like that. Um, I decided to try to do a bold look. Originally, I tried to do a sunset look, but that didn't quite turn out right. Um, it was horrible, to say the least. Okay, so I went and did my own thing. I know it's hard to see because it's like one o'clock in the morning and I'm sitting here and I can't find my light to my phone. Um, it's missing. I'll buy another one, um, but you guys have been rocking with me and progressing with me, so slowly but surely, um, upgrading, doing new things, things like that. So um, my camera that I had bought, I could never figure out how to work it, so I figured my phone is just as good as any, and I can edit on my computer, so I'm doing it like that. Anyway, so I try to make up look. Let me get a close up so you guys can see. So this was the makeup look I came up with. Um, it was fairly simple, it took me a while to do, but it was still very easy to do. Um, again, like I told you guys before, I'm not an MUA. I don't profess to be. I don't know everything about makeup. I don't know hardly anything about makeup. Um, I just started doing it like three years ago. Three, mm, no about five years ago, but I wasn't consistent with it. Um, now I'm trying to be more consistent with it, learning how to do it. I don't really wear makeup out. I really go out plain face most of the time. Um, but sometimes I want to do a beat. Um, I find new makeup and I want to do a beat. So I used, um, for this, I used the um, Juvia's Place Masquerade Palette, the Take Me Back to Brazil, Take Me to Brazil Palette from BH Cosmetics. And the, um, it's called Take Me Home by, oh, I can't remember the name, but it's called Take Me Home, um, nonetheless, um, because they have bright colors. I wanted to do something with yellow and orange and, um, purple and all that stuff. So it's hard to see, but I'll put in pictures at the end of the video so you guys can see what it looks like right now. I look like I'm bundled up because I'm sitting outside. Um, and it's not really that cold, but I am cold. Coming from Texas where, so those of you who are in Texas know it's like 100 degrees. Um, even in the summer, I mean in the winter, it feels hot. So here being that it's 60 something degrees, I feel a little chilly. So I'm bundled up. I have on a jacket, my muumuu, which my daughter bought me. It's like my favorite muumuu. So I wear it everywhere and take it everywhere with me. And I have on my jean shirt so I'm bundled up okay um, for 65 degrees yeah don't judge me don't judge me don't judge me anyway um, I wanted to update you guys on my nails too so as you guys know I have been um, I told you last time in the last video that I've been growing my nails for like 10 years um, maybe longer than that since before my daughter was born and she's 18 so probably like 18 years but I've cut them off yada 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 well this time I had to bald no nails um, and don't get fooled by the design this is cut off I had to cut them off because I went to a new place before I left Texas um, to get my nails done uh, which wasn't my usual place but they have 3d the place that I usually go to doesn't do 3d I really wanted to try 3d um, and I love to look at 3d but I went there and they thinned out my nails so bad. I soaked them off um, like I'm supposed to so that it doesn't 
to make my nails brittle or thin. And like I said, I've been getting my nails done for 10 years. Even while I was in the military, I was getting my nails done. So this none of this stuff is new to me. So after I soaked my nails off, he began to file them. And I told him, don't file so much. You're going to thin them out and make them weak. Well, he was like, oh, I just got to get the residue off, yada, yada, yada. Well, long story short, get here. My nails started cracking and breaking one by one by one. Doing stuff like regular stuff, like I was opening seasoning as paper, you know, the little, um, the seasoning. And when you take the top off, you have to take the paper off and then put the top back on. Opening the paper, my nail broke, okay? So that should tell you something. Like, um, and I ended up having a total between two hands. Um, I only had um, four nails left. So I cut them off because then that would look stupid if I didn't. So now I have to start all over again. I called them and told them what happened. I was pissed. But I called them and told them what happened. And they're going to tell me that there's nothing they can do. They can give me a discount whenever I come back to San Antonio. And I'm like, I don't want a discount. I'm not coming back to you. Like, if you already messed up my nails, why would I come back so you can mess them up some more? I'm not doing it. I want my nails to grow back healthy and strong. Like, um, my nails were always strong even before I would get any kind of gel put over the top of them. They were always very strong, um, but now they're not. So, I'm, I'm pissed, needless to say. I have no nails. You guys are used to seeing me with nails. I have nothing on my fingers except nubs. They're cut off. And do you know how hard it is? For those of you who um, have nails and been having them for a long time, um, I'm sure you guys can feel me on this. I'm used to doing everything with my nails. I type with my nails. I write. Like, everything I do, I do with my nails. Um, so, without nails, it makes it a lot harder for me. I know that sounds weird because you would think things are easier, but I'm so used to having them that when I try to do stuff, I it's harder. Um, but anyway... That was my rant about that. So, on to my hair. I have hit 18 months. 18 months, a lot. Um, and that was as of October 18th. Now, I have to, I found a new consultant here. Um, and I can't wait to see her tomorrow. Well, today, technically. I go for my consultation uh, because it's a new client consultation. So, I go for my consultation today. Um, and the great thing is it's at the Sister Lock um, headquarters here in San Diego, because that's where I'm at, I'm in San Diego. So it's at the Sister Lock headquarters here in San Diego, so I'm super excited. Um, she works with Dr. Um, oh my God, what is wrong with me? How can I forget her name? And she is the mother of Sister Locks. Oh my God. Please don't judge me. It's like one o'clock in the morning. No, I'm not sleepy, but my mind doesn't always work perfectly. Um, but I can't wait to go there. I want to meet her. Um, my hair, I'm also wondering when it's going to drop. So here is what my hair looks like. I've been waiting for it to drop because shrinkage is real. It looks so short, you guys. But then I pull it down and I'm like, oh, I do have hair. But then, you know, it'll hang there for a second and then it goes right back up. So I look like my hair is super short. I have some, too, that I wanted to show you guys. I hope this camera focuses. Okay. Maybe if I back up a little bit. There we go. So that I need her to look at. Like, here we go. This one. If you see it. It's pretty much slipped all the way out, which is really weird, but not. Because the front of my hair has been the hardest to lock. The back of my hair is completely locked. Um, they're good to go. Um, my last consultant, Kanita, told me that I um, didn't no longer have to braid and band the back of my hair because that's locked. But the top of it... Um, I still needed to do. She told me to try it without braiding and banding the back of my hair, but just braid and band the top and wash it and see how it comes out. So I'm going to do that before I go in. Not tomorrow because, like I said, tomorrow's just a consultation. I get my hair retightened on the um, 27th, and I've never missed a retie. You guys know that. Um, I am consistent with my hair because I am so nervous because my hair is so fine. 
Um, it's not thin, but it's fine. And with my texture, my hair gets tangled so easily. Like the worst part for me of doing my hair is separating after I wash my locks, like separating my sister locks. Because you guys don't know how easy my hair gets. To, I just took it apart right now. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, I'm also getting over the flu because as soon as I got here, I got the flu. I had to go to the doctor immediately because I felt like I was run over by a Mack truck. I had gotten the flu and I don't even know how. Um, I took an 18 hour drive. My wife and I, she drove her car, I drove mine. So it took us two days. Usually we'll drive straight through, but we're getting older. Let's be serious. Like I've been taking these long drives for years, but that's when I was active duty army. And since I've been retired, um, I've had to take those kind of drives, but not often. So it took a little toll. So we pulled over in New Mexico, stayed at some casino there, casino hotel. It's really nice. Good food. And then made the rest of the way here. But as soon as I got here, I was sick. Straight up flu. I don't know how that happened, but it did. But um, anyway, so I can't wait to see my consultant tomorrow. So she's going to go through, tell me what I'm going to need done to my hair. Hopefully, there's not a, um, a lot of repairs because there was a couple that, like I showed you, like that one. There's a couple more like that, but not a whole lot. Um, so I'm really excited and really ready for a fresh retie. But like I told you guys before, I kind of like when you can't see my grid. Um, this is not to say I don't have a grid or that it's not there because my grid is still there. It's just that, I mean, as you can see, I still have the parts and everything, but it's just that, you know, my hair is growing. See, I still have the parts and everything for my grid. It's just growing so much. And I have not felt this kind of growth in a long time. Like, I've, it's only been six weeks. Like I said, I never miss a retie, but if I get close, I don't know that the camera will focus, but look at that. So from right here to right here is new growth. You see that? I need a retie so badly, but I'm really excited to go. Like I have a really good feeling about this consultant. So I'm really excited to go there. Um, also, oh, um, so I'm almost at 250 subscribers. I know that's not a lot, but when I hit 250, I think I want to do a giveaway because you guys have really been rocking with me. Um, and I know, like I said, I had been going for a while, but I am back. Um, and I plan on making more videos. My goal was to try to do at least one video a week. Um, and again, like I told you guys, the channel is called Love Locks and Other Stuff. So... Um, I think the next video I'm going to do is how my wife and I met. Um, it's a story that people seem to love um, because it's so crazy. Um, talk about like whirlwind. Like it's so crazy. Um, and make no mistakes. It's not like she never gets on my nerves, but it's in any marriage. I love her to death. But um I really want to tell you guys the story. So next video, I will be telling you guys the story of how my wife and I met. Um, so that'll be the love portion of Love Locks and other stuff. Um, I have, oh, I have been using only rose water, but I'm thinking because it's getting cooler, the temperature here in California is much different than the temperature in San Antonio. So I'm thinking about... Um, Seeing if I can put some oils on just my scalp, not in my hair, but just my scalp, you know, put it on my fingertips and kind of rub it into my scalp so that my scalp um, remains um, oiled um, and not like heavy oil because I've never been one, even when I had my traditional locks before this, to use a heavy oil. I don't use grease. Um, it would probably be something like um, some tea tree oil peppermint oil to soothe my scalp because I have had some itching going on. It's not bad, but um, sorry guys, I'm separating my locks as I told you guys. I know that's that's horrible, right? Um, but um, 
I have had a little itching going on, so I want to make sure that it um, doesn't turn into something more serious, like dry scalp or something like that. Anyway, so like I told you before, um, as soon as I hit 250 subscribers, I would like to do a giveaway. And I think I am going to give away a satin bonnet um, because let's be serious, like um, the one I'm going to give away though has a wide band because I don't like, um, I find that it's helpful for me. The ones with the thin band, they slip off sometimes at night. They um, cut into your edges, stuff like that. And I've never had an edge issue and I never plan on having an edge issue. So um, I just wear the wide band um, satin bonnet and I wear a satin um, shower cap to get in a satin line shower cap to get in a shower. Like, and I have a satin pillowcase. Is that satin overkill? Like, is there a such thing as satin overkill? I don't know. But, um, oh, and hopefully I will have some great news for you guys. It's going to take a while before I can tell you, but trust me, it's going to be worth the wait. Um, I'm going to take you guys on a journey with me. Um, but I'm just excited. I'm happy. Like, things, you know, they couldn't be better. Like, um, of course, I have my issues, but... Things couldn't be better. I've been in a really good place. And so I wanted to come and talk to you guys tonight. Um, since I'm not sleeping and I wanted to try this beat. Don't mind the wings. Like I said, I'm going to put in the pictures after this. So the pictures are going to be in there right after the video. Um, and this video is turning into a super long video. So there's probably going to be parts in here where I fast forward through. Um, because they're not pertinent things, even though I think everything is pertinent, but maybe not really. I don't know. Anyway, so, um, and look at that. One of my lashes is coming off. I have not gotten great. Oh, it's not coming off. It's just the lash. <laughs> um, I have not gotten great with the strip lashes. I am wonderful at individual lashes. I can put those on like with my eyes closed, but with these strip lashes, I'm just learning to do them, so I had to get the lash applicator, the little, um, it's an applicator and it's half moon shaped, the shape of your um, eyelid, to make it so much easier. So that's been a lifesaver. But um, again, I can't wait to see my consultant. Um, I'm gonna cut it off now because I am rambling and you guys, I'm sure don't wanna hear me ramble. So I just wanna say thank you for joining me. I love you guys. Um, thank you for subscribing. Those of you who are new to the channel, thank you for watching. Those of you who are watching for the first time, please don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the bell so you know when I post a new video. Um, and don't forget about that giveaway. So I'll be looking out for the 250 subscribers, um, which is not much, you know, but it's something for me. Um, since I just started this on a whim just because I didn't see videos with people with super fine hair like mine and um, starting their sister locks and my hair was like short too so that was like triple whammy but um, I'm gonna say just like everybody else best this hair decision I've ever made so until next time guys know that I love you and peace